Hello all, welcome to this tutorial on explanation of different types of testing tracks on Google Play Console along with their purpose and requirements to access them. Friends, testing is a crucial phase of software development. It ensures that your application is free of any bugs and gives the user a good experience. By running tests against your app consistently, you can verify your app's correctness, functional behavior, and usability before you release it publicly. Play Console provides different types of testing tracks so that you can gradually ramp up testing and improve your app to the point that it's ready to reach billions of users on Google Play. First is internal testing. Before you've finished setting up your app, you can quickly distribute builds to a small group of your own trusted testers. This can help you to identify issues and get early feedback. Builds are normally available to testers within seconds of being added in Play Console. Internal testing is optional, but I recommend that you start here. Second is closed testing. With closed testing, you can share your app with a wide group of users that you control. This allows you to fix issues and ensure that your app complies with Google Play policy before you launch. You must run a closed test before you can apply to publish your app to production. At least 20 testers must be opted into your closed test when you apply for production access. They must have been opted in for the last 14 days continuously. You can start a closed test once you're finished setting up your app. Third is open testing. Open testing allows you to surface your app's test version on Google Play. If you run an open test, anyone can join your testing program and submit private feedback to you. Before choosing this option, make sure your app and store listing is ready to be visible on Google Play. Open testing is available when you have production access. Fourth is production. This is where you make your application available to billions of users on Google Play. Before you can apply to publish your app to production, you need to run a closed test which meets Google Play Console criteria. When you apply, you'll also need to answer some questions about your closed test. When you apply for production access, at least 20 testers must be opted in to your closed test. They must have been opted in for the last 14 days continuously. Here is the summary of testing requirements per track. Internal testing track type. Its purpose is to quickly distribute builds to a small group of your own trusted testers to identify issues and get early feedback, before or after you've finished setting up your app. There is no requirement to access this track. Closed testing track type. Its purpose is to share your app with a wide group of users that you control so you can fix issues and ensure that your app complies with Google Play's policies before launch. This track is accessible only when you have finished setting up your app. Open testing track type. The purpose of open testing is to surface your app's test version on Google Play. Anyone can join your test and submit private feedback to you. Must have gained access to production to access open testing. Last is production. The purpose of this track is to make your app available to billions of users on Google Play. Before you can apply for production access, you must run a closed test with at least 20 opted in testers for 14 days. Once you've met the criteria, you will then be able to apply for production access by answering some questions about your testing, your app, and its production readiness in Play Console. If you want details on how to set up and perform testing on different testing tracks, please refer to my previous videos from the link in the description below. We have covered everything for this tutorial. Please subscribe, like, comment and share my channel to support me. Thanks for watching.